Okay guys, so uh, last week I uh, posted with asking you guys for some advice about uh, this bra uh, geotized brachiopod. Um, I added a little bit of super glue right there. You can kind of see like the shiny area because I don't want that to fall off. Um, but uh, we're going to go with option C, which was cutting it uh, right here because I want to preserve the, the brachiopod best I can. So um, this, uh, we're using the high tech diamond six inch uh, trim saw and uh, we'll be using the uh, red thin centered blade. This blade is uh, kind of getting dull, so hopefully it will be okay. But uh, let's go ahead and cut this bad boy open and see what it looks like. So whenever I put it on, I'm probably gonna have to end up rotating it so we can cut all the way through it. But uh, let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay, so, uh, I think I did a pretty good job. I kind of cut it, started cutting into the wrong area right there, so I moved it, um, but uh, got it right along the bottom there, so now let's just open it up and check it out, see what it looks like for the first time. <laughs> Not what I was expecting. I was hoping something a little bit more, but that's still pretty cool. I think I would get a little bit more of something if I maybe cut to this direction, but uh, that's still pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna clean this up and then uh, I'll show you guys uh, again and we'll look at it with the black light as well in just a moment. Okay guys, I got this all nice and cleaned up and uh, like you saw a minute ago, we decided to cut with uh, option C. I started to cut it there and then realized I wasn't in the right place, so I pulled it back out and uh, cut right there. This is the inside. It's all cleaned up. It's very sparkly full of calcite uh, crystals. Um, other geodes that I have uh, cut from this location contain dolomite, calcite, um, and then also some celestite. Um, but I don't see any of that in here, mainly just calcite. Um, there's a little bit of agate right here around the edge where the actual shell is. Um, let me go put some oil on this some uh, mineral oil because I don't have it fully polished yet. Um, that way you can see more of the agate details. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'll put some mineral oil on this and it helps uh, reveal or show the blue agate around the outer edge, which you can see right there in that area. There's a nice little rainbow inclusion right there. But the gray is the like natural shell structure of the brachiopod um, and then you have a little bit of agate mixed in there around the outer edge a little bit of iron staining right there and right here and then on this side so before we go let's just see what it looks like under a black light Okay, so here's the geodes, and we're using the UV Beast 365 uh, NM Blacklight. So, so it looks like just the outer edges uh, glow. Um, that reddish reflection you see over in this one is just the reflection from the uh, light. Um, so there's a little bit of glow to it, and just a tiny bit of afterglow. But uh, again, that is just reflection from the light from the oil. But uh, yeah, I am very happy with how it turned out. Um, we were able to save a majority or all of the detail from the brachiopod and we got to see the inside. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If so, please make sure to like it, subscribe to the channel. We'll be doing more cutting videos um, as well, cutting videos with the UV lights. Um, and, and then rock counting chips coming up this summer um, and into the fall. 
But uh, anyways, I hope you guys have a fantastic week. Rock on. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments of how this turned out. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.